Our referees this afternoon are Dan Drager and Joe Sullivan, linesman Dana Perkovich and Scott Fitzpatrick, and we're underway. As Duluth in their maroon and gold tops and bottoms, Miami in the white and the red. So far, we'll talk about him more in a moment. Four minutes in. Here comes Sweeney up the left side. A little bank pass in front, and they score. Rock set up beautifully by Noah Gates. At a one. Kobe Ross has moved up to the top line. They love his hockey IQ. They love his ability to get in the good scoring areas. When you're playing with Gates and Sweeney, they're going to be the recipient of a lot of good plays because of the high skill level and speed that those two bring. So you move Rock. Where we can take advantage of what Sweeney and Cage can do. And now right back, and Miami punches back immediately. It's 1-1. Monty Graham tucked it home. 16 seconds after the Bulldogs open the... Well, how about that? Play behind the net. Fanti goes to move it over. Here's that four check of Miami that we discussed. It goes up the wall. Not a clean out. And look how hard Monty Graham goes to the net. This... It's just a great effort. Well, puck's up high. They've got either got D to D or throwing a puck to the front of the net for a second chance. They got traffic. Here comes UMD. What did we talk about earlier? They want to get their transition game to be better. And Krause with a good save. Krause is one more than Derek Dashke. There he is. One didn't get through. Loose him a slot and they score. There's Derek Dashke. Quickest to react to that bouncing puck. And Miami with their first lead of the year. Well, this could turn into a fun game. Look at Dashke as he starts to creep in. And he takes the second shot off a rebound in front and buries it. I, I love the fact that Miami's D have been so actively involved here so far in the first period. This is Dashke creeping up into a soft spot to try to get an attempt. They've got shots through the state of Michigan. Ketke, good headman pass. And they score. And knocks it up for Duluth. It's 2 2. It's nice where it's the first one to 10 wins. Here comes UMD. Good clean out again. That's two or three in a row that they've had, and that's a goal that Cross going to want back. He's in a great spot for it. And Olsen just does he just lasered it right over his glove. But just it all started once again. Only showed a little nerves early, and not a lot of clean gets. A lot of rebounds that are laying around. Another nice job by UMD getting in the zone. Just a nice standard in. Drive wide, trying to draw the D with the outside. Red Hawks trying to start a rush. Now they might cross the line, in on goal. And Barry was just bothered enough. Still loose, and it hops just wide. Off the tip by Chase Pletsky. Then from the line, blocked down in front by Wyatt Kaiser. Cross showing some good lateral ability. He's a big man with some good explosion. And UMD gets a little Royal Road play through the middle. Good shot by Kepke. And a great explosion over. And he'll do the same thing. And he'll keep doing it. So if you're the younger guy, and you want to work with a good goalie coach, I think it's a big part of the recruiting process. Here's a two-on-one. Kepke dropping it. In on goal, great stop by Claus. He stoned Quinn Olsen. Matthew Barbellini set up right in front of Fanti. Now possible two on one. Here comes Kepke. He has Cates. Cates stoned. Ben Claus with another big stop. Roth with a neat sidestep. Here's an on man rush. Roth, low height, buries it. 3-2 Duluth on a beautiful finish by Luke Lohite. Last run early in the season is being part of that group to take the next step up as veteran leaders. Roth just comes out of the zone with great speed. And I love where he put this puck. He gave it to Lohite exactly where Lohite wanted it. You see how Lohite had to stick behind his body? Lohite didn't want to go to the net with speed, so they can gain the zone pretty quick. But uh, I think that... The Bulldogs have gotten some really good looks, and they haven't had to donate much skin to do. Rosenbaum, not dressed tonight. Turnover in front, Cross with a save, still loose, and they score! The Bulldogs make Miami pay, and it's Cole Kepke who shoveled 
You, you, you can't you shoot yourself in the foot against a really good team, and there is absolutely no way, I mean no way, that puck ever should have been in front of the net. Chase Plesky's a good player, and he just made a bad mistake. And then the puck got loose, and Cross just couldn't seal it up and, and try to... Watching the slow burn going on on the UMD bench. As, as their head coach do everything he can not to lose his mind as he watches his team turn pucks over and be real sloppy. Here's Gilling centering and they score. And the Red Hawks have that crucial next goal. They're back within one. It's Bray Crowder, the junior out of Ontario, who makes it four to three. To build that culture of your down two goals to the back to back defending champs. But you don't lay down, and like I said, the last three, four minutes, they've been great. What a play by Casey Gilly behind the net. Wins a battle, finds Crowder, who stuck in smartly. The entire UMD defense corps is watching the puck and why do I don't think everybody else around college hockey realize how important a player Nick Wolf was to the Bulldogs. Wraparound try by Swaney, sealed off, loose in the slot. Noah Cates pushed it toward the corner. Dashke. Ridden off of it by Kobe Roth. Cates, another wraparound try. Couple stops by Cross. Over when you were standing up more, it's a little bit easier to use your stick. Let's watch the play here. Watch the stick across as it comes around. That stick is in front of his body instead of trying to protect that little area off to the side of the post. With their efforts, as we take a look at a quick little replay here, as Fanta makes another good save. I think USA Hockey and their efforts to try to make youth hockey as safe as possible in the their growth. Kids like to compete, kids like to play, kids like to go to the ring. Two minutes to go in the period. Here's a two-on-one for Duluth. Cates in front. Kepke just couldn't control it cleanly. And there was that stick check by Ben Cross. That was a good play. That's... UMD with a good out once again. It's been a strong part of their game. Play comes in the front of the net. Watch the stick across. It's a loose puck. It's in the skates. It's a bobble. Cross, instead of delaying and sitting tight, gets aggressive and active and eliminates the threat before it happens. There's a second save in front of the net. And he gets knocked in. That's like knocking over a statue. Six foot four. He's a big man. Covers a lot of net. Turn it over to Kepke here. Kepke walks right in. Kepke stopped by the left pad of Cross, And then a penalty coming against Kepke. And out of that, Miami's going to get a power play. It was a good charge to the net. Miami turns the puck over. Here comes Kepke with a good inside cut. Here's the first play. I don't know where else he was going to go. Take a look one more time. Oh, you know what? Okay, I see. That's a good call. Uh, the puck carrying player, you're you're asking for trouble, and there it is, right underneath the hands, and that is the Bulldogs through center. Swaney waving in. Swaney stopped by Cross and then covers up. Miami surviving so far, hanging within one. When you drop a puck back the way that UMD just did, it's a recap. So here comes the the first out. UMD will come guys. Here comes the drop. Once they make the drop, look how static Miami is. Nobody's moving. And four and white. The defenseman, Andrew Sinari. I would like to defend. Oh, that's what captains do. There's nothing better on the bench than watching a guy block a spot. When you got your captain out there blocking shots, that's just a whole nother level. Nice. Sold out. And he took one direct. 90 miles. It's pulled down. Now remember, in the NCAA, the ruling is... So, so the rule in the NCAA is, is from behind, but you can be slightly behind, not directly behind. It's a difference than it is anywhere else. Charge the net, gets pulled out from behind, doesn't get a shot off, and that, negate, that necessitates a penalty shot. So it will be Jack Olmstead against Ryan Fancy. Olmstead against Ryan Fancy. To tie the game, Olmstead stopped by Fanti. And the Bulldogs keep their lead. And he continues to be the story of the pod, Brian Fanti. Fanti, Olmstead didn't like his move. He came in, he wanted to go high to the stick side. He got a little too tight. 
And Fanti, look where he is. Way out. Great goalie gap. Wide. Gets the blocker out. Doesn't give up space. It's down to center. That is just not a great place on the ice to be on your backhand. It's just inside the offensive blue line. Now a sneaky shot. Big pad stopped by Fanny. Wraparound try. Underneath Fanny and he keeps it out. To recover from a little bit of a turnover. They gain the line back. Good entry. They get the puck to the front of the net. And then they got a little scrambling. Here's a little jam from behind the net. Off the leg possibly of Hunter Lelig. As it rolls towards Fanny, Fanny had to get his up turn back around real quick. And he gives you a little Dominic Hoshel, Hoshek style. He's six, he's the middle of the one 3 one here. Oh, the cross ice pass just tipped away before it could reach Barry. And here's a rush. Cates for Sweeney, who tips it on target. Save made. And just reaching out with a goal stick was crossed. Dashke keeps in. Final 10 of the power play. And intercepted and rushed out by low height. Possible two on one. Here he comes on a big stop by Cross as he denied Jack Cross Barry couldn't get the shot away. Sweeney saucers it to center. Here goes Kobe Roth and he scores. And Minnesota Duluth up by two with 46 and a half seconds left. Then really all period long. Miami with a turnover. Roth off to the races. And UMD will go to 3-0. And Miami 